Motorsports. How do you look at today? Yeah, it's a great, you know, great performance. A, a really good finish. I mean, I, I about threw this one away on pit road. Uh, made a mistake there and was speeding. So that's a great comeback. I mean, I thought we had the car to beat, and uh, you know, there at the end we we uh, were kind of stuck in the outside on one of those restarts, and those guys got out there on us. So. At that point, it was just about uh, pulling our way back up in there, and me and Danny were having a great battle, and uh, then, you know, late pit stops, and those last couple laps were just wild. Congratulations to Dale Jr., and that means so much to Andrew Motorsports. You know, that's the that's a best way you can possibly uh, pay tribute to those that we lost here 10 years ago, and, you know, to have a 1-2 finish, uh, it's pretty awesome. I would like, love to have gotten that win to move on, you know, to Homestead, but uh, this is certainly a great start for us. we got two more great tracks coming up. Really proud of him, though. I know that means a lot to him and all these fans here. And the fans seem to enjoy, too, the rousing applause for Dale Earnhardt Jr. Congratulations, Chef Gordon. He's off to a great start here. Today. What a special day for Tony Seward as well to lead 18 laps today and bring it home in fourth, but such a tough call there at the end. Do you come and take tires? Or do you stay out and hope that the track position is enough? What do you think of the decision, and how special is it to have this kind of day today? If we had to do that a hundred times over, we'd do the same thing. So uh, we didn't have anything to lose. It was worth a gamble. Um, you know, we, where we were at in fifth, I mean, you, you didn't know who was going to do two tires. You didn't know what could happen. Something could happen on the pit stop. There's just a lot of variables that could have gone wrong there. And, uh, you know, I'd rather have taken a chance and, and had to fight at the end like that. So. Uh, you know, I, we, we still ended up a spot better than we were before the caution came out, so uh, I think that's about all you can ask for on this Bass Pro uh, Mobile Ship, Mobile and Chevy. Uh, Chad Johnson, all these guys just did an awesome job. This, this car was pretty good all weekend. It, it was better today than it had been uh, both Friday and Saturday. And just can't thank Johnny Morris and Rusty Rush, uh, everybody at Mobile One, Eric from Code 3 and Associates, uh, and his staff, uh, and most of all our fans that have been. Uh, they, w they have been plowing a tough road for the last 18 months, and uh, this top five is for the fans more than anybody out there. Well done. Now, Ben Sachs, Tony Stewart finishing fourth today unofficially. To the championship run at Homestead, and the standings after Martinsville look like this. Jeff Gordon has the top spot with Ryan Newman, Joey Logano, and Matt Kenseth rounding out your top four positions. Then outside the cut line, but barely, Denny Hamlin's only two points behind Kenseth, then Carl Edwards, Brad Keselowski, and Kevin Harvick much further back for Keselowski and Harvick. Familiar scenes from the prior round of the championship when the opening of Kansas race was somewhat chaotic and dug people a rather early hole. And this is certainly going to make it now where you know that two drivers are going to get on the points to be a part of the championship battle at Homestead. And the fight for those spots continues next week at Texas Motor Speedway. Then on to the Fast Mile in Phoenix. And the final day of the season, Homestead Miami Speedway. What a great race that's going to be on November the 16th. Join us at the track and, of course, all those races live here on ESPN. Sports Center coming up next, Ricky Craven uh, up in our ESPN studios to continue the breakdown of the race. We'll have more from the racetrack as well. What a day it was. Restarting fifth with five laps to go. Dale Earnhardt Jr. fought his way to the front and held off Jeff Gordon to score a huge win. His fourth win of the season and his first at historic Martinsville Speedway.